This is for a viewer who was having trouble with his iPhone 5C home button. Now you can use this procedure to check out the hardware on your 5 or 5C. Those are the two models that basically function the same way. So you will need to open up the phone to take a look inside. There are a couple of screws down here at the bottom. These are the pentalobe screw, uh, screws that are proprietary for Apple. So if you don't already have a pentalobe screwdriver, you will have to get one in order to remove these. And once you get them out, we can open up the phone. Now I'm going to leave the phone powered on. I usually turn it off right away whenever I'm doing a repair, but for this one, we wanna keep it on so that we can see if the problem is coming from the home button itself or the hardware inside the phone or something else that uh, is going to be a little more difficult to repair. So if you go down here, just between the plastic and the metal, you can open this up with either a razor blade. If, you have had, if you've got a small suction cup, you can use that to pull on the front of the phone. Just be careful when you do, you wanna make sure that you're getting the frame for the display separated from the housing. And if you need more detailed instructions on that, check out one of my disassembly videos for the iPhone 5 or 5C. They're pretty straightforward. You just need to pry up to this area right around this uh, region. And from there, you should be able to lift this up. Now, I would recommend that you kind of pull the display away from the top end of the housing. That way it has good clearance for where the camera is. And we just want to take a look right inside here. In fact, we don't even need to open it up all the way. What I'm going to do is shut the screen off. And then you'll notice that down here, there are two contacts and they're usually going to be silver. So what we need to do is short those two contacts together because what that's going to do is simulate the function that the home button serves and that is to conduct a signal from this area here through these small gold discs which interface with those contacts. So in other words, if I open this up and access these contacts and I short them together using something like a paper clip or anything else that is conductive, that should activate my home button function. So again, turn off the screen, short these two together and if the screen lights up, and if you hold it down too long, Siri's gonna pop up, or if you click it twice, I guess. So, as long as the screen lights up, we know that the problem, oh. let's try that again. All right, so if the screen lights up, when you short those two pins together, we can rule out the charging port and the, any other parts inside the phone and isolate the problem to the home button here. And usually the easiest way to repair that is to just replace the entire home button flex assembly. Now the reason these go out sometimes is you get moisture and other types of debris inside of the button and that will often reach these two discs. So they should look nice and shiny and gold just like these right here. If you see dark spots or white material accumulated on those, sometimes you can go in and scrape them just to the point where they're clean. You don't need to scrape very hard. But if these look nice and healthy and you're still having the problem with the home button, but you short these two together and everything function the way it's supposed to, then most likely either you've got a problem with your home button or these little prongs aren't sticking up high enough. I've had a few phones come in where for some reason these get pushed down too far and I went in there with a pair of tweezers and just very gently lifted them up slightly so that they have a little more tension against the front of the screen when it's laying down on top of them. Now, if you've tested this, the moment you get inside the phone, if you short these two pins together and your home screen does not light up, either you do not have a conductive material that you're using to bridge that those two together, or you've got a problem somewhere else in the phone, most likely the charging port. So the way this interface works is that, and don't pay any mind to this, this is just an old kit I used to convert this phone. So what happens is when you click the home button, it sends a signal through here, and this is the charging port. The charging port then transmits that signal up into the logic board. Now, if you do run into that problem where you short these together and the screen does not come on, then hopefully you've got a problem here in the charging port and you can just replace that entire unit down there. Otherwise, you've got a more serious problem on the logic board and that's gonna get into some areas that are a little more difficult than what I can uh, address right here on a YouTube video. Now, fortunately, if you've got an iPhone 5, 5C is going to work exactly the same way. You're gonna have those same two pins right there on the inside. The exception will begin with the iPhone 5S because 
instead of putting two little contacts inside the screen, we instead have a cable that runs between the fingerprint scanner and the charging port. So the way that that signal conducts from here into the phone is a little different, and what I just showed you will not apply to this phone. And of course, when you get to the iPhone 6, the entire mechanism is different because we no longer have anything to connect to down here. They have integrated the home button into a flexible cable that runs behind this metal plate and then goes directly into the logic board. So the, the solution that I showed you to diagnose this problem will not work from the 5S and up, but hopefully if you have an iPhone 5 or an iPhone 5C, this will help you to determine where the problem is and you can proceed accordingly. If you found the video helpful, like it, share it, check out my channel for more tutorials and product reviews, and most of all, remember to hit the subscribe button. Feel free to leave your feedback in the comments section, and thanks for watching.